Hey guys, I'm Prodigy from Airsoft Team Kilo23. Now this is a video I've been meaning to make for quite a while now. I finally got around to it. I've had so much college work to do and other things like that. I just have not had a lot of time to make videos lately. So I've been kind of iffy like that. But anyway, today we're going to be taking a look at the pinion gear puller device item that you really should have if you're an Airsoft tech. Now had Airsplat send me one of these. It runs for $29.99, I believe, on Airsplat.com. I've seen it on other sites running for $45, $60. Uh, they're basically all the same thing. I believe this one is made by Element or Modify or something. It's fine quality. It'll do just fine. Um, seen the guys at Echo One use these. The guys at the local shop around here use them. So, um, yeah, these things are all right quality. For $30, it's hard to beat the price. Now, Using one of these things is a little uh, tricky, kind of. Once you know how to do it, it's very easy, but learning how to do it is a little different. So this video is kind of going to talk about this thing, its quality, and exactly how to use it. Now this is the pinion gear pulling and replacing tool, whatever it's called. I believe it's by Echo One or Modify or Element or one of those. But either way, it's about the same as just about any other pinion tool. Basically, you stick your motor in here. This is a I believe it's the Matrix Magnum motor. It's uh, recently stopped working on me, and so I'm just going to use it as a sample motor here. Obviously, it's super magnetic. What you're going to want to do is place it in here, make sure the motor pinion gear is right here in this little notch, so that way you can actually push it out. And the easiest thing to do here is just turn this until it literally pushes it out. Now make sure before you actually remove your pinion gear you have the little um, little hex key screw unscrewed if it has one. Uh, a lot of motor pinion gears actually do not have them, they're just pressed on. So uh, I believe Systema has them and a lot of Chinese company motors do. So check, make sure. Um, actually I had to drill out my Systema one so that wasn't great. But either way I'm glad I had this tool so much I was able to replace the Systema pinion gear when it died on my Magnum motor. I put a Modify pinion gear on there, it's working really great in my Snow Wolf Barrett M82A1 right now, it's holding up really well. So thank God for this tool. Now once you have this pressed all the way out, obviously you have your motor, you can just set that aside for the moment, and you have your old pinion gear. So that was pretty easy. We've got the pinion gear off, this is the old one, I'm not going to install a new one on this motor because it's not working right now, I'm just going to use the same old one and we're going to reinstall it on this motor. Now obviously once this is the pinion gears off, you can replace whatever you want. You can replace the shaft, the internals, the motor. Uh, this little guy here, I've seen upgrade bearing versions of it. Uh, but it doesn't matter, this motor is not working, so let's just go ahead and put the new pinion back on. Now your pinion tool is going to come with these two little items here. These are to reinstall the pinion gear. You don't need these when you're taking it off. The smallest piece is going to go on the top one, the one that's going to push on the pinion gear onto the motor. And the second item is going to go right here on the lower one. That's going to keep the motor in place while you're pushing the pinion gear onto the motor. Now I found it it's really easy to grease the threads here so that they last a little longer. It does help with actually um, installing things, the pinion gears and such. It does make it a little easier, it makes these tools last longer, so I really recommend you guys lubricate the threads. Uh, I just use a general lithium grease that works fine because this isn't going to be under a lot of stress. Now go ahead and place your pinion gear right there. Go ahead and tighten this onto it so your pinion gear is sitting quite firmly right here. Now the next step will involve putting the motor in this tool. This one's super magnetic so it's kind of annoying like that a little bit. But to install the pinion gear, simply line it up a little bit. Like I said, this thing's ridiculously magnetic, so it likes to bind to the sides of these bars here. Turn the bottom, and you can see it's slowly pressing the motor into the pinion gear. Now you can see the pinion gear has been installed successfully. You can go ahead and unscrew these. This little tool here is going to fall out. Unscrew the top one. That little guy files, falls out, 
and your pinion gear is on your motor. It's really that easy. It takes a minute or two to do this. Now, I have a couple of gripes about this tool. It's pretty cheap. It doesn't work on every motor, I've noticed. The G&G &G Combat Machine motor, the long version specifically, I was not able to get this pinion off for the world. Now, I tried everything possible. This would not come off. Now, my second gripe about this tool is the fact that the top pin is a little bit fragile. Um, they probably should have made this out of a better material. I'm pretty sure it's a very hard metal. It's probably steel of some kind. But the pin here actually bent when I was trying to uh, remove the gear of the Turbo 3000 motor by ICS. Um, so yeah, this thing's a little bent. It doesn't really affect its performance, the tool itself, but it does get a little annoying. Uh, just the fact that this thing bent under that little bit of pressure was not good. So you may want to invest in a slightly better tool, but for 30 bucks, this thing, it's really hard to beat the price. All right, now you know how to use the Element Echo One Modify or whatever brand this thing is, Pinion Gear Puller Tool. Thanks for watching. I'm Prodigy from Airsoft Team Kilo 23, signing off.